En esta cápsula de Pura Pantalla estaré hablando con Emily Cox y Alexander Draymond de El Último Reino para History Channel. I am Uhtred of Bebenban, I shall take what is mine. Bebenban is mine! Pues como pueden ver, ya me encuentro con Alexander Draymond y Emily Cox. Guys, how are you? Oh, Gwen, <laughs> gracias. <laughs> so, we're going to talk a little bit about The Last Kingdom. What can you tell me about this show? It's based in the 9th century. It happens when England did not exist yet. England was composed of lots of little kingdoms. And um, the Danes were invading as Vikings. Mm -hmm. And all the kingdoms were falling one by one to the Danes. And there was one kingdom that was withholding, and that was Wessex. And that was headed by King Alfred, who later became known as King Alfred the Great, and who was the first person to have the vision of one unified England. When I was doing my research, you know, I noticed that you have to prepare a lot. You know, the Viking world is a very tough one you know, physically and also emotionally. To be honest, the great thing was that mm -hmm. the script just gave you so much flesh. There was so much the way it was written. It was, was so full and you kind of knew who the people were. Or I knew, who, I kind of had a feeling for who Brida is. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there are these novels which are fantastic by Bernard Cornwell. And um, so your fantasy just kind of starts working. And then it's more or less just like in any other part as well, trying to find out who this person is, what her dreams are, um, what her relationships are to other people, and then to be as open as you can in the moment on set and see what happens. But what about the physical part? You know, because you have to fight, mm -hmm. and you fight against men. Yes, you know? that was so really you cool. So you have to be physically tough, right? Yes. So we had stunt training before we started, and um, I actually had to stand in line with like 200 men in a, on a battlefield and I had to hold the shield, it was really heavy. <laughs> and um, we had to learn to ride horses, mm -hmm. and it was a fantastic time. You knew how to ride horses, right? I, I did, sort of. When I was a kid I, I, um, I was living in a place where there were horses and it was on an Indian reservation actually and I would jump on a horse, mostly bareback and just ride for ages and ages, and there's nothing there. So it's like learning a, a new language almost, you know, and he taught us so much. I, I feel very um, privileged to be able to work with him. One king. Yes, the idea of a single kingdom Fire! called England has to begin here. So what was appealing for you when you actually received the invitation or, or, or when you cast for this role? So what I found really uh, exciting about my character was that she's incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. um, she says what she thinks. She, she doesn't think that men are more important than women, which at that time is a big thing. Oh yeah, a big thing. <laughs> yeah. So in a sense, we could perhaps say that she was the first feminist, you know? Um, she has a great sense of humor and the conflicts that were written in the script were just so, so interesting and so deep in a way and have so much to do with us nowadays as well. So that was one of the main, main things I found interesting. What about you? Because Ulthred is it's quite a tough character. He's, he's tough, but he's also fun. You know, he's, uh, he's, a, bit of a, he's a bit of an asshole. You know, <laughs> he's, he's pretty cheeky and uh, that was fun to play. Um, yeah, sure, he's, he's tough and there was physical preparation, but it was just, for an actor, it was such an awesome play field, you know? In this time, we have several series about Vikings. What's different about The Last Kingdom? I think pretty much what I just said, the grittiness, the, the fact that it's, it's dirty, you mm -hmm. know? It, it doesn't have a, a, a glossy sheen to it, which, which works great. It's, uh, it's darker, it's, it's, it's... We have no dragons. <laughs> have no dragons. In, in the show, you guys have a relationship, right? and even you have a romantic interest. We basically grew up together, so, uh -huh. but we're not brother and sister, so um, we're both... So it was allowed. We're friends with benefits. <laughs> friends with benefits. Benefit more than that. Uh, well, <laughs> I was told we were not lovers. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you're getting a lot of attention because of the way you look, right? 
Would you like to be considered like a sex symbol? I would like to be able to tell stories like The Last Kingdom and hopefully many more. Uh -huh. um, if that if that image helps me in that way, <laughs> great. You know, thank you. I'm very I'm very blessed and very very thankful. You know. And in your case, Brita is a very feminist. Do you relate with that position in life? You know. Well, I wouldn't particularly say feminist, but yes, of course, I believe in, um, I think it's really, really important that women take themselves serious mm -hmm. and that they don't think that they're worth less than men. I think, of course, of course, these are all things that I believe in and that I think nowadays are themes that are really, really important. You talk a, a lot about your hair, you know, <laughs> and the amount of time that you spend taking care of your hair. How's that? Tell, tell me that. That, that, sounds, that sounds okay. <laughs> I know that it sounds okay. But it, it, it is true, right? Well, you know, for me it was the first time. When I was a kid I, I had long hair at stages, uh -huh. but it was never that long, you know? And obviously when we started shooting the series, my, my own hair wasn't that long yet, so I got extensions in, right? So you, you go from one day having, you know, whatever, short hair, to having hair down to here, and you have to cope with it. And as a guy, I think, I think I'm not the only guy who wonders what the hell goes on when a girl goes into the bathroom and disappears and that black hole of time swallows her up and she's gone and you're sitting out there and waiting and waiting and waiting and you're getting angry and you know, now I know what the hell goes on in the bathroom. And now your it girlfriend has to wait for you, I guess. <laughs> he actually called me like in the first week and he had a big net like this and he couldn't get... He couldn't I had, a, I had a dreadlock in my... it was horrible. But you know, it was great. It was a great experience. <laughs> in our show, we have a section where we would like to get to know you guys better, you know, with fast questions. So I would like you to answer me with the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Favorite food? Uh, sushi. The best part of being a Viking? Uh, uh, sex. <laughs> What's your favorite part of, the favorite part of your body? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, my hands. Which actor actress would you love to work with? Alexander Draymon. <laughs> what music do you listen to? Ooh, everything. From one to ten, how much do you enjoy his kisses? Ten. Oh, cool. Really? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a nickname? Uh, Dre. Favorite movie? Pulp Fiction. The most important person you've met because of your job. Oh my god, I don't know. Best Mexican dish? Ah, I added that at Grasshoppers. El, uh, el Chapulín. Is Chapulín. It, uh, el Chapulino. Sí. El Chapulín. El Chapulín Colorado. <laughs> Con guacamole. Blondes or brunettes? I don't limit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know about word in Spanish? No, I don't. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> well, we're done. Well, Finally, I would like you to invite, please, our viewers to enjoy The Last Kingdom and to watch them and follow you on Facebook, Twitter, and everything. I'm Alexander Draymond. I'm Emily Cox from The Last Kingdom. Yes, please watch our show and follow us on, well, I actually haven't got social media I know, at all. you have nothing. So on Facebook. <laughs> so follow, follow Emily Cox on Facebook and Twitter and whatever <laughs> else is out there that she has. <laughs> Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Y ustedes ya saben, dejen de entrar a servicioagencia.com, seguirnos en las redes sociales y nos vemos en la próxima. Hasta luego.